Hello everybody, in this video I will quickly go over how to set up a flight plan using the Garmin G1000 NXI version 0.1.0 from Working Title. And so first thing we'll do is we'll hop on down to the MFD. Uh, similarly, you can do this in the PFD. I just find doing it in the MFD a little bit easier. So first thing we'll do is press the flight plan button, which will bring up the flight plan page. And our controls for this are down here by the FMS label. And we've got the outer and inner knobs here. And so to enter our origin, we will use the outer knob to scroll down one line. And this top line is just a header. It doesn't actually input anything. Uh, we want this empty line below it. And we'll use the inner knob to select to bring up the waypoint information page. And now we can either use the inner and outer knobs uh, like before to enter our airport. Uh, however, there's a new feature that Working Titles introduced with this that will actually allow us to use our keyboards to actually speed this process up uh, pretty significantly. Uh, so to activate the keyboard, you can either press the little icon here, you can see it turns blue, or you can just click this empty space here, and that will also activate the keyboard. So with the keyboard selected, we'll type in KEGE, press enter, and that'll bring up our runway page. If we use the outer knob, we can scroll down to runway, use the inner knob to bring up the selections. You can either choose none, runway 25 or runway 7, and we'll just select runway 25 for now, and press enter. So now we have our origin set to Eagle County, and we selected runway 25. Next, we can either start putting in the en route points, or we can put in the destination. The order shouldn't really matter here. We'll just set the destination first. And like the origin, make sure you select this line below the destination label, because this is just a header. And we'll use the inner knob to bring up the next page. We'll bring up the keyboard. And we can type in KWYS for West Yellowstone hit enter, and we can either select a runway now or wait until we actually get closer to the airport. Uh, so I'll choose to do that, so we'll just keep it at none for now, and press enter. And now we can start setting up our en route points, and this is done exactly the same as the airfields, so we'll use the inner knob, bring up the keyboard, and select our first waypoint. And out of the duplicates, we want the VOR in the USA. So I hit enter. And we'll use the inner knob to bring up the next waypoint, which is Celia. And we want the one in USA. And you can just get into the pattern here. So inner knob, keyboard, OCS. Select the one in the US, inner knob, keyboard, BPI, enter, USA, inner knob, select the keyboard, Tuvok, enter, and there were no duplicates so we didn't have to select anything. And lastly, go inner knob, select the keyboard, Select the Denora VOR, press enter, and there are no duplicates, so we didn't have to select anything for that one as well. So now if we close our flight plan page and zoom out, you can see we've now got our flight plan set up. And one last thing is if you wanted to enter a departure, you could go to procedures and select departure, and it will bring up this page, and then it'll you'll see all the uh, departures here, and you can select them. If you're having trouble selecting them, and this is specific to version 0.1.0, uh, if you press enter, it's not doing anything. Just back out of the procedure page, 
open it back up, go to departure, and then you should be able to select it from there. And then all you have to do is go down and then press enter to load. And what that'll do is it'll put all the waypoints in right after this runway 25, and it'll put it in before and route. So that is pretty much all you need to know on setting up a flight plan using the first version of the NXI Avionics package by Working Title.